Golden Boy, front face lock on Stan Lee, trying to hold him down, keep him from getting to a vertical base where he would have the opportunity to tag into his partner, the very popular Derek King, a man who has been around the Mid-South now for the better part of a decade and a half. Big star with Power Pro Wrestling. And ha, give credit where credit is due. Midnight Gold knows how to use that ring to their advantage. A tag was made, but referee Caleb Demps did not see it. Speaking of wrestling action, Ringside Championship Wrestling is glad to announce our return date to Forest City, Arkansas, Saturday, June 19th. We're going to try 7.30 bell time. That's right, 7.30 in Forest City at the Boys and Girls Club of St. Francis County. It's the former Forest Hills Elementary. We had a fantastic time last time we were in Forest City, and we want to see each and every one of you there that came out last time. What I want you to do is go find one, two, three, three, four hundred friends. Bring them all to see Ringside Championship Wrestling Live when we return to Forest City. I know some big matches are being signed for that card as a follow-up to what happened a couple of weeks ago when we were there. Shocking incidences, and we will actually begin airing that footage next week here on Ringside Championship Wrestling Late Night. Golden Boy always measuring his man for the precise target, and he delivered there on Stan Lee who is the worst for wear. He's been in the ring quite some time now. We are joining this match in progress. A matchup that took place on May the 5th in Truman, Arkansas. As you can see, Midnight Gold using double team tactics left and right to try to gain an edge, trying to gain an advantage against the opposition. And of course, kudos to our great camera crew in ringside championship wrestling we have of course mr richard bresler and on this particular evening gary davis was in the house providing the camera work i tell you what this organization is so blessed to be surrounded by a lot of great people it takes a lot of us ladies and gentlemen to pull these shows off and we're glad to have an entire crew an entire staff of dedicated individuals that bring you ringside championship wrestling stan lee wants to bring himself to the pay window the victory, if he can somehow fight back, get to his corner, make the also important tag to his partner, Derek King. He has withstood several minutes of punishment. But Golden Boy Greg Anthony, as you can see there with the leg drop, he does not seem to want to give an inch to his opponent, Stan Lee. This was kind of an insider, a wrestling insider's dream match. You had two teams that had actually never faced each other before in this format. I've mentioned before we saw Stan Lee and Golden Boy a few weeks here on RCW Late Night Wrestling with an incredible 21-minute contest that saw Stan Lee get the victory. Those two have a heavy, long history, and a lot of it involves the hair, the short hair you see on Golden Boy Greg Anthony. I've said it before. He hasn't always worn that type of haircut. He used to have some long golden locks. And about a year and a half ago in a matchup that took place in Ripley, Tennessee, Stan Lee defeated Golden Boy, and Golden Boy was forced to shave his head. And ladies and gentlemen, he has not forgotten about that, I promise you. Stan Lee able to get both feet up. This young man is thinking about flying. He does so and connects with a split-legged moonsault. Now is the time for him if he is going to make a tag and going to get to his corner. He needs to do it right here, right now. We've got some big news coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you in the upcoming weeks, we're in negotiations to bring ringside championship wrestling to more and more cities. We have also, of course, added Win Arkansas Saturday, June 12th as part of the annual Farm Fest. We're going to be there for that. Cannot wait to be in my home neck of the woods and win on Saturday, June 12th. We'll have, of course, more information on that after we finish the double duty this weekend. <laughs> and I don't know about Midnight Gold. Their schedule will be there, but their heads just collided. They may not make it. As Derek King is just taking out all of his aggressions on them. He's waited several minutes to get in that ring. Stan Lee had to take the brunt of punishment. And Derek King came in a house of fire. Well, what's there? A situation here where there's going to be a penny combination. One, two, three, and beautiful Bobby Eaton is defeated. So there you go. Midnight Gold loses the first match, and they're not happy about it. Come on. Midnight Gold defeated the first winners 
of the main event and first time main event in RCW wrestling history will be hot topic but Midnight Gold is not happy and they are taking it out on the opposition Derek King paying a price Stan Lee paying a price here tonight on RCW Late Night Wrestling and this is what I'm talking about this is a kind of havoc destruction that Midnight Gold has unleashed on ringside championship wrestling since we started this organization and I think and there okay there you go. You saw what just happened. Referee Caleb Dimps dumped to the floor. That right there cost Midnight Gold $5,000. That one cost them. We'll be back. We'll take a look at where RCW will be in just a moment. Then we'll be back with more. We'll start looking at the feud between Midnight Gold and Premier Brutality. If you've been turned down, come to Car Today and get your next set of wheels from our lot. Car Today, you ride today, cause we just say yes. Ringside Championship Wrestling makes its return to Augusta, Arkansas, Saturday, May 29th at the Augusta Days Fair. We're going to be up there in the afternoon, 2 p.m. bell time. Come out to see Ron Rage, Midnight Gold, John Michael Worthington, Girl Candy, Christian Jacobs in action. Free admission is part of the Augusta Days Fair, Saturday, May 29th. Afternoon extravaganza, 2 p.m. bell time. We want you to come out, be on TV at Augusta, be there. Ringside Championship Wrestling is proud to team up with Car Today of Jonesboro to bring you fun and excitement on Saturday, May 29th, right there at 3404 Stadium Boulevard. The fun begins at 4 p.m. when you can meet Jerry, the King Lawler. That's right, the King, WWE Hall of Famer, will be in the house beginning at 4 p.m. And then the action starts at 5 with RCW superstars Ron Rage, Midnight Gold, John Michael Worthington, and Girl Candy Christian Jacobs. It's Saturday. It's May 29th. Jonesboro. For Arkansas car today. Meet the King. Be there for great wrestling. And I cannot wait, wrestling fans, for next Saturday. All kinds of action. Augusta Days and then Car Today in Jonesboro. Our good friends, Mark Crabtree, Craig Stone. Cannot wait to see them and all the sales staff up there at Car Today for an evening or for an afternoon of uh, evening, afternoon, four o'clock. It depends on your definition, but a uh, uh, whole whole lot of fun coming to car today in Jonesboro and I tell you what else what about I mentioned it what about that great announcement Jerry the King Lawler will be there he will have merchandise available for sale you can meet the King beginning at 4 p.m. and then immediately following at 5 p.m. we'll have some great wrestling featuring several local stars from other organizations throughout the area our friends from the Southern Wrestling Alliance in Newport, Arkansas will be represented there with the tag team of LSD, labeled Social Deviants. And then RCW is in the house as well with Midnight Gold as you see them in action here coming to you from March the 27th in Augusta, Arkansas against Premier Brutality. We'll talk about this match all the way through the highlights here again. Joined in progress on this one. But... You will see them, Ron Rage, Girl Candy, Christian Jacobs, and John Michael Worthington all representing Ringside Championship Wrestling. Kind of a, a joint venture. Call Today presents professional wrestling. Meet Jerry the King Lawler, CRCW, see labeled Social Deviants, see other superstars from around the region. It's going to be a fun, fun event. It's going to be next Saturday, May the 29th, Memorial Day weekend. Cannot wait for it. Cannot wait to see you there. And did I mention this? It is F-R-E-E -E, absolutely free. That means you don't have to pay a dime to come see it. And you can take that money and spend it on some merchandise from the King or some RCW programs and whatnot that will be available there. 
it's going to be a lot of fun. But 3G Eric Wayne, as you see in the ring right now, he's not having fun at the hands of Golden Boy Greg.